Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to Tolerance Modeling inside Autodesk Inventor. In this video, we're going to check for interferences while simultaneously taking into account the tolerances of both parts. So we'll take this valve assembly, and we're going to edit both components at the maximum material condition. So we'll go ahead and set up the tolerances that reflect that. First, I'll edit the hole in the body that defines the bore. Clicking the arrow next to the diameter, I can choose the tolerance and what size I'm going to evaluate that tolerance at. So we'll set up a symmetric tolerance of plus or minus five thousandths. We'll evaluate that tolerance at the maximum material condition, that is, the smallest diameter. I'll go ahead and verify that that's indeed been done and the geometry's changed by choosing measure and checking the diameter. It's 0.495. And that's the tolerance for half an inch, plus or minus five thousandths. Next, we'll edit the shaft and set his tolerance. I'll edit the sketch that defines the cross section of the shaft. And on that sketch dimension, I'll select and right click on it and choose dimension properties. I'll set up a tolerance for this component, but this one's going to be a deviation, plus zero and minus two. We'll set this up on the plus side of the tolerance, which is a maximum material condition. Now I can also switch to my document settings tab and either show the nominal value, I can show the tolerance so I can see what my tolerance is set to, or I can show the precise value, which is what the measurement currently is. For example, if I go to the minimum material condition, I see 0.498, minus two thousandths. Of course, we do want to evaluate that at the positive side, so we'll set that back. Now I'll go through and finish the sketch, go back up to my assembly level, and now I'll go to the Inspect tab and choose Analyze Interference and check the interference for part one and two. So here we do see we have an interference, small but significant. So Inventor found the interference at the maximum material condition. I'll double check the diameters. We can see the bore is 0.495. That's the maximum material condition for that component. Now I'll swap visibilities and show the shaft. And inspecting that, we see the maximum material condition is half an inch, 0.5. So 0.495 and 0.5 add up to an interference. So now how do we fix that? Well, that can depend based on everything from machine capability to design intent, but it might be as simple in this case. I'll edit the bore, go back to the tolerance, and I'll go ahead and change the tolerance to a deviation now. And just say we can go plus five thousandths is fine, but we'll go to minus zero, so we have a very small fit at the maximum material condition for both parts. I'll return back to the assembly level, give that one more double check, and our interference goes away. But now you've seen an example of how we can check for interferences while taking into account the tolerances. That's it for this video. Thanks everyone.